The Iola Car Show has been going strong for 41 years. And we visited the event 20 years ago. Here's Wally Griffith with our Flashback Friday. Thousands of classic Fords, Chevys, and of course, spectators converged on the town of Iola this weekend. They came for the 21st annual Iola Old Car Show, one of the nation's largest. Among the exhibitors, car nuts like Robert Hankey, who drove to Iola in his 67 Imperial. Maybe sailed is more like it. It's as big as a land yacht, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, our other car is a small car. It's a 57 Fleetwood. So you like these big cars? I like the big ones, you bet. You're not into these Yugos and Honda? No, no, no. Keep one of them in the trunk in case we run out of gas. There's a lot more here than the gleaming chrome and the new paint. There's heart. Ron and Bonnie Sisko bought this 59 Chevy Impala because Ron had one just like it back in high school. We were going to name it Blood, Sweat and Tears because we had four children and we ate hamburger a lot when we were restoring it. Of course, not everything at Iola is shiny and new. This is a 57 T-Bird. This could be yours for 6000 Over here is a 55 Packard, only 1600 bucks. A little paint has looked just great in your driveway. But owner Ron Font admits buying a project car like this requires a strong stomach and wallet. So what kind of attention is that Thunderbird going to need? Well, just about everything. It does function. It will move, but uh, it needs everything. Now, there's a sales claim. It does function. It does function, right. For the really hardcore car nuts, Iola also features a gargantuan swap meet, just the place to find an alternator for your 35 Plymouth or to buy a 35 Plymouth. In Iola, I'm Wally Griffith, WLUK-TV, News 11. Very cool. Good stuff. Yeah, I like any story that uses the word gargantuan, too. <laughs>